Hey there, and welcome to the Guitar Tricks channel. My name is Anders, and I'll be your host today. Before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our lessons in the future. This week, I'm gonna show you a cool surfy riff, which is the one I was just playing around with. This riff represents a fun and slightly different approach to playing lead guitar that can be used for both riffs and for solos. Let me show you how to play it, and then we're gonna talk about how to use it as more of a general approach as well. Check it out. Most often when we take the lead as guitar players, whether it's for a signature riff or solo section, we tend to go up high. And this makes a lot of sense because it generally cuts through more and sounds more like a lead part. But it can also be extremely cool to do the opposite and go low like I did in the intro. First, let me show you what I played. So we're in the key of E. And I'm using the note of the blue scale going horizontally on the low E string. So the full scale would be open, three, five, six, seven, 10, 12. So first I hit the open E string, and then I go three, open, so. And then I go six, five, three, open. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, and four, and one. Notice that I'm going down, down, pull off, down, 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 all the down strokes for energy. Then for the second part, I go open three, pull off to open, and then again, six, five, three. So. So, so far we have one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Again, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Then you repeat the first part. And then all that's left to do is go three to open, and then slide up to the 12th fret and add vibrato. So the whole riff sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Then what you can do from there is you can add a couple little upstrokes for extra energy. I do that slow. Now, of course, you can use this approach to come up with cool riffs for any given song, or you can use it in your solo or to write fun, surfy, instrumental guitar songs. Because it does sound kind of like surf guitar out of context, but you can actually do this in country and blues and rock and almost any other style of music, and it's a really inspiring sound. Obviously, E is a great key for this because we have the low E string, but you can do it in any key. The idea is just to look for the lowest possible pattern of your pentatonic or blues scale and then play around with those notes instead of, or in combination with your typical high pattern. And that's it for this week's channel episode. I hope you're excited to go explore the sound some more on your own. And as always, if you haven't already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button for more great videos and feel free to like or share this lesson with your friends. Have fun with it and I'll see you next time.